What up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, and today we are taking a look at an HP printer. We've got the HP LaserJet Pro MFP M148FDW. Uh, you got that number, right? It's, it's, it's engraved in your hand, right? We do. Yeah, we're, we're talking printers today. And, uh, of course, uh, you can check everything out over at Geekazine. Think Magazine put in the geek. YouTube.com forward slash Geekazine, where you can like, subscribe, comment, bell notification for the next video. We're also on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Geekazine 24-7. We're live. We're live either doing reviews like this or pre-recorded content. And everything is over at Geekazine. And of course, you know, we've got the new merch, including the podcast merch over at Geekazine.com forward slash merch. Be a part of the Patreon over at Patreon.com forward slash Geekazine. One time tip at PayPal.me forward slash Jeff Power. Somebody tipped me last night. Thank you very much to that person. So today we are taking a look at the HP LaserJet Pro MFP M148DFDW. FDW, not DWF, but FDW. And because DWF is Dallas Fort Worth, and you know, you're probably not in Dallas Fort Worth, you're probably somewhere else. And if you are in Dallas Fort Worth, how are you doing? So, anyway, what this is this is a printer, this is a black and white printer that comes right out of the box, and you throw in a, a whole ream of paper, can do a thousand pages just like that because it comes with the toner, comes with the drum right in the box. It's a relatively low price printer. Uh, started at 199, I believe it's 149, but of course that's at the time of this recording and everything can change. We did get product, just so you know, we did get the printer to review. All opinions are of my own. You can go over to geekazine.com forward slash review to find out all my policies right there. I did an unboxing video, which you will see up here. And of course, the unboxing video will also be found on YouTube as well. You can go there. But here it is. This is the printer itself. It's relatively small. It's about, I'd say about uh, 20 to 25 pounds, relatively lightweight. You still want to have two people uh, when you unpack it, but you could possibly unpack it with one person as opposed to my 577, which is a two person job. And that's that's tough. That's a lot heavier. But anyway, it's a smaller printer. It's got less features than with the 577. Of course, this is black and white only. This does double sided. This does uh, this hooks up to your Ethernet. This hooks up to your wireless. This hooks up to your fax machine. It's got a scanner, scan fax, and uh, go through the app to do a lot more. Straightforward, nice printing, and like I said, it. it you set it up, you take all the tape off, and then you turn it on, you connect it up to your network, and it's good to go. Inside here, we've got the tray, which doesn't pull out at all. Uh, you can do uh, paper types, different types of paper types. Up on top, there's a little latch that goes down. You can kind of see it. And inside that latch, you can do envelopes and a couple other different size papers. Once you close that, you ha it's ready to go. Um, you have the scanner, of course, up here, which can do up to an A4 scan, which is not too shabby. And then when we lift this all up and we lift this part up, the thing beeps at us because it says, don't do that. The door is open. But this is where your toner is. And it's a two piece toner system. It's rel relatively small, as you can see, but it can get about, uh, I think it was said about 20,000 prints. On the page we'll go back to the page in a second here so we have the toner here and then of course we have the drum which pulls out just like that as you can see relatively small so uh it will be a lot less space in your uh in your cabinets when you have stock to for the toner printer to come back in so you put that back in you bring that down you bring this down it says hey i'm initializing and there you go All right, so on the back, let's see if we can do this without unplugging it. Let's spin her around. And uh, if we unplug it, it's, hey, that's no big deal. So on the back, we have, there we go. This is, uh, this is uh, for if you have any type of jams or anything like that. And then down here, let's, let's go down there for a second. There we go, down about, oh yeah, 
let's bring it into play down here this is where we got we've got your fax machine right here and right here we got your ethernet right here and then of course a usb b cable that will uh, fit right there if you notice there is no usb hard drive or flash drive whatever you want to call it uh access on this thing and and that's kind of kind of sad it, you know i would figure that this is that's something that people would want on there but if you think about it some there are some companies that don't want you to have that that functionality they want you to print through a page through a, a, a pc or a mac or or of course the phone if you can connect it up uh and then of course you have this setup let's take a look let's zoom in first of all on this uh on this panel here this is the panel as you can see it's not the lcd panels that you've been seeing on a lot of these printers this is a little bit more taking the step back uh with uh push button technology and a slight lcd uh lcd display right there uh the going through the menus is pretty straightforward all you have to do is hit the button and go from there you want to configure the wireless you can do that from there and then of course you have the uh the hp i think it's called hp uh was the hp smart that's it hp smart software which then connects up to the printer and of course tells you what you have your estimated cartridge and everything like that it's all pretty touch uh touch screen from there so you can do your printing from here or you can do your printing from the uh pc from the mac or through the scan this top button is how you scan uh so you can put the paper on the top tray or you lift up the tray and put it in there and then hit the copy and then it'll say do you want one copy uh multiple copies and then you have different options here like uh number of copies uh, and 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 stuff like that. So over here we have the fax information. If you have a fax machine, which I do not, we'll just turn that off. There we go. Hit the cancel button. We got a cancel button. We got a return button and an OK button. And it's a little in a odd spot, but you know, hey, it works. It works as you can see. Pretty easy to navigate through. You'll feel like you're. It's the 90s again with this printer when you're navigating through but hey you know it works and that's the that's the important part here let's take a look at the specs over on the page uh we'll hit the specification buttons it does uh print copy scan and fax uh it will do a black and white up to 30 page uh pages per minute and that includes double-sided uh if you need it uh to go uh double-sided and you can do double-sided flip or you can do flip either way um duty cycle up to 20,000 pages so the uh the monthly volume if you've got if you print out 200 to 2000 pages this is the printer that you can uh, that'll work for you print quality is 1200 by 1200 dpi not the best quality out there but this is meant for quick jobs non-color prints and of course uh you know just something that you that you need to print out uh, like directions or something like that uh they do have the print resolution uh fast res 1200 uh technology in there to help with making those black and white prints as easy as possible uh and of course uh, all the other cool stuff that you can find in the in the specifications if you want to check it all out now Let's take a look at some of the pros and cons of this printer because there are a few of them. And we're going to start with our pros, of course. It's a smaller and lighter in weight, so it'll be easier to uh, move around, put up into uh, wherever you need to move it to. It's a dual sided printing, so black and white, of course, 30 pages per minute. And it's ready to print right out of the box. So you, you're ready to go. Boom, there you are. Uh, you, have, you can go in and set it up and go once you have it all configured however let's look at some of the cons and one of the cons is setting it up here and that is uh no native wireless configuration and i will talk about that in a second uh wps or pin uh on first configuration there's no usb drive support which i talked about the scanner top actually slams down you got to watch out for that and there's poor documentation 
And a lot of people have noticed that uh, the uh, poor documentation. Basically, uh, we'll, we'll start with the first part, and that's the setup. When I went to set this printer up, it, it asked me either I got to do the WPS, which is basically you go to your router, there's usually a little button that you can press that will send out a signal to any device that's listening and say, join our, our, join our network. And then it then connects up. Now, you can also connect up direct through Ethernet, and you can use the USB to connect up to a PC. But, and there's a way to do it on the app. They keep talking about it in the, and this is why we said poor documentation. Went in there and it said, you go into the app, you go to your Wi-Fi settings, you find the HP setup, and then, and then you connect to that Wi-Fi and then go back into the app and then it's gonna ask, well, what's the uh, Wi-Fi SSID and password? It didn't do that. In fact, there was no HP setup. It, it showed the printer uh, Wi-Fi, but it didn't say HP setup. It said uh, LaserJet Pro MFP M148. You get the idea. And, uh, and so when I went back into the app, it did absolutely nothing. It just stayed there. It, it's like, well, what do we do now? Okay, and, and of course, you know, maybe a firmware update can fix that or software update on the app. And that, of course, was on the iOS device. I did not test it on the Android device. Now, they say that you can, otherwise you cannot, without the WPS, you cannot configure it. And that's, that's kind of not true. Uh, the best way to do this is to plug it into the, your, your network via Ethernet cable. And then give it an IP address and then go to the page because there is a configuration page. And I'm going to show that to you right now. There's the configuration page. And in here, you can actually configure the wireless network. You can't do it on the app. You got to do it on the page. And so once I figured that out, I was able to configure it without WPS. But that takes seems to be a longer way to get to where you need to go. Now. All right, so you get the toner with uh, you get the to basic toner with it, but refills on the toner. This is the basic uh, toner refill, forty six ninety nine for that. If you need a higher yield toner, if you're doing more like two thousand prints a month, then eighty four ninety nine for that one, and go from there. And of course, if you need to get the drum, there's the drum that's eighty eight eighty nine at the time of this recording, of course. So, and of course, you're not really buying the drum. Uh, every time you're buying toner, you're probably going to get two or three toners before you get a new drum. Uh, and let's see, cartridge yield is 23,000 pages on that, as opposed to this, which you get about uh, 2,800 pages per cartridge. That's the high-end black toner, um, 1,200 pages for the regular black toner. So, And you get that, you get the idea on that. So about 1,200 pages, you're replacing your toner uh, at about $45, $46 a, a recharge. So not too bad if you're only doing, like I said, uh, about 1,000 uh, pages a month. It's got a good smaller form factor. So as you can see, uh, well, you can't see on that, but once we go back here, it fits right on the corner of my desk. Uh, so it, it, it'll it probably take up a, a good corner, but if you're doing some, if you need some, something to print out, uh, whatever then you and you need it can only it only has to be black and white there you go you got it right here uh some other features uh we did take a look at what they were saying around the web that of course being on amazon's website hp's website and of course the other uh many places that you can buy this and uh, we're seeing about a three three and a half stars uh for this printer there's a lot of confusion as to the setup and the documentation it was not as great as they want to be. And I totally agree on that. I, it actually was documentation for three or four different printers. And like I said, with the setup, it said you go in and you connect up to the printer and then you can set up your wireless stuff. And that wasn't happening for me. Not at all. So, so I'd give it about the three, three and a half stars. That sounds about right for a review uh, review. Uh, price but it does once it's hooked up you hook it up to your 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 phone the computers see it pretty quick and next thing you know you're printing uh just like you would any other printer so if you can if you can bypass that if you can get past all that setup or you just hook it up directly and you don't have to worry about that or hook it up via usb then you're good to go 
and this prints up pretty good. No jams that I've had so far, but I've only used this for a short while. Um, Double-sided printing, you will have to go into the program every time and say, hey, I want it to be double-sided. There's no way to set it up that I found yet. Uh, to set it up uh, to double print, uh, double side print every single time. So, but you can configure it in multiple ways. You can set it up uh, to do single sided printing, double sided printing, or multiple multiple plex printing. Yeah. And that is the HP LaserJet Pro MFP M148 FDW. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me over at Geekazine, Think Magazine, put in Geek. I can't troubleshoot your problems. I can help you. I can try, but I, you know, I'm I'm not support. You should probably contact support if you have a technical issue to begin with. I get a lot of those those comments and questions and calls. So, uh, but anyway, you can find me over on Geekazine, of course, Facebook, YouTube. Go ahead, comment, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for the next video. And watch everything over on Twitch.tv forward slash Geekazine as well. Thanks a lot for watching. You've been watching the HP LaserJet Pro MFP M148 FDW review. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out, and we will see you next time. Take care.